Welcome to Hack and Build. In my last dust collection video, I compared the Oneida Dust Deputy to a very simple dust collector. I've made some improvements to the dust collector, and in this video, I'm going to repeat pretty much the same test as I did last time, measuring out a set amount of sawdust, vacuuming it up, and then weighing it to see how much I collected. In this design, I've made some improvements that are based off of Phil Thien's baffle design, and essentially it's a smaller circle surrounded by a, a partial arc of a larger circle. Now this part is going to rest on whatever your container is. In this case I'm using a five gallon pail. And this is uh, 120 degrees, so all you got to do is just measure that out with a protractor. And what I did here is I just tied this in with a, uh, a screw attaching this pipe to the board here, and then uh, just a, a short length of wood with two drywall screws. I'd recommend adding another little piece here just to give it a little more stability. And you're probably wondering what the hole in the bottom is for. My initial attempt was to just use a single piece of PVC pipe to attach the two plates here. And that did work, but I found that it was a little bit of a pain to mill out the whole uh, side of the PVC pipe. So I don't really recommend doing that. And I'll do two iterations of the test, uh, one with the hole, and then um, I'll cover the hole up with a piece of tape or something, just so we can see how it performs uh, with the hole covered up. That's pretty much it. So why don't we get on to testing? Here's the sawdust in the bucket before starting. It's about 25% full. Now here's what's in the vacuum. It's pretty much empty. Now I'm gonna weigh out the sawdust. I'll start by zeroing out the scale using an empty container. Now I'll place an identical container on the scale with 200 grams of sawdust and verify its weight. For this test, I've covered up that center hole with a piece of duct tape. Now we'll put the bucket on the scale and zero that out. Let's dump out the sawdust and vacuum it up. Now we'll weigh our bucket and see what was collected. 196 grams. Here's what's inside the vacuum. Empty, just like when we started. So that's the way we'll be doing the rest of the tests as well. Before we do that though, I think it's a good time to recap the results from my previous video. The simple dust collector did well when the bucket was empty, but as it filled up, the performance really went downhill. On the other hand, the dust deputy collected consistently regardless of how full the bucket got. So far it seems like adding that baffle is really making a big improvement. Next I repeated the same test with the hole untaped. This time I captured around 199 grams of sawdust. Given the accuracy of my scale is about 3 grams, the previous result of 196 and the current result of 199 are just about equal. The hole didn't make much of a difference at 25% full, but I'm suspecting with a fuller bucket, more sawdust would have been sucked up into the vacuum. Now we're going to test with the bucket 50% full. Since the thin baffle occupies a pretty good chunk of real estate inside the bucket, this is the fullest we're going to be able to test with. Once the dust separator is placed in the bucket, there's only about an inch or two worth of airspace left. I'm suspecting that running it this full is going to prevent dust from falling in and may even suck some dust that's already in the bucket back out. Okay, there it is, 200 grams. And here's what's in our bucket. Let's get the bucket weighed and finish our test. All right, let's see how we did. Okay, that's 178 grams. Well, we definitely didn't do as well as before, so let's have a peek inside the vacuum. Yep, there's definitely quite a bit of sawdust in here. Now you might be saying, wait a minute, Hack and Build, you didn't show the contents of the vacuum beforehand. You're right, but I can assure you that I did empty the vacuum beforehand, and the deficit of sawdust in the bucket jives with what went into the vacuum. I also wanted to see what kind of performance we'd get with the dust deputy when it had a really full bucket. I filled the bucket up with sawdust about two inches from the top. I also made sure to empty the vacuum from the previous test. 200 grams. Check. Let's weigh our bucket. Done. And let's get her vacuumed up. From my previous experience testing the dust deputy, I knew a bit of sawdust tended to get stuck around the mouth of the inflow port. I dumped out the sawdust on top of the dust deputy to make sure it was accounted for. 
And how'd we do? 202 grams. I'm going to consider this 200 grams since there's practically nothing in the vacuum and the scale's only accurate to about 3 grams. There also could have been a bit of sawdust stuck in the inflow hose, but it's pretty obvious that the dust deputy didn't suck any more sawdust into the vacuum. Okay, let's compare the three units side by side. In the previous video, we tested the dust deputy with an empty bucket and a half full bucket. In those tests, we measured 186 grams, though, as we saw earlier, some of the sawdust did get stuck around the inflow port, so that at least accounts for some of the missing sawdust. And with the bucket at 90% full, we measured the full 200 grams. I stress the word measured here because we know from my scales accuracy that we have at least a 1.5% margin of error. Looking at the simple DIY collector results from the previous video, we saw that as the bucket filled up, the efficiency decreased dramatically, collecting only 28 grams when the bucket was half full. We didn't test the theme baffle with an empty bucket, but based on the performance we saw at 25% full, we can assume that it would have collected at least 196 grams worth of sawdust. So the theme baffle is a big improvement over the DIY version and is comparable to the dust deputy, but it didn't do as well with an overfilled bucket. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll just add a couple more notes here. So the main drawback of this guy here is that it takes up about 25% of the five gallon pail. And so when you're using something like this with the five gallon pail, well, it just eats up a lot of space. So I think this is um, a really good design, especially for a larger bucket. And this thing works pretty well for a five gallon pail, although this uh, the size coming off the top of the pail makes it a little bit top heavy. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, I what I did is I took two buckets and stuck them together with some gravel in the bottom to give it a little bit more weight, and that does help it from tipping over. But just, you know, two, uh, two minor little points against the uh, difference between the two designs. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more hacks and builds. We'll see you next time. Cheers.